Today, we're going to talk about screensavers. Before we dig in, if you're new here, we publish computing-related videos all the time, so please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. Whether you use the Mac, Windows, or Linux operating system, screensavers are available to utilize. Today, with all the great graphic cards, extra memory, and fast processing power, there are some beautiful screensavers obtainable. Everything from waterfalls, to a full aquarium, to a mesmerizing fireplace. Still, two questions remain. Do you need a screensaver? And if not, should you use one anyway? In the early days of computing, Monitors were CRTs, cathode ray tubes. They worked by firing an electrical beam at a phosphorescent screen. In those days, screensavers were essential, since an image, if left on the screen too long, could literally burn itself into the screen. Once that happened, it was difficult to use the monitor since that image, although faint, never went away regardless of what else was on the screen. With the advent of LCD and plasma screens, however, the issue of having to use a screensaver went away. These screens produce images without the phosphorescent aspect and burn-in doesn't occur. To understand how these types of monitors work, I've placed a link in the description below for a site with a very good explanation. This brings us to need versus want. I just explained we no longer need the screensaver. That leaves us with want. Why would you want to use a screensaver? What are the positive aspects? And are there any negatives? On the plus side, as I've already mentioned, the screensavers available today are just beautiful. The graphics are incredible. And the screensavers can be calming, entertaining, and sometimes just plain interesting. On the downside though, screensavers, especially 3D screensavers, can use a lot of processing power and they can consume their fair share of memory. If you do use a screensaver and you find your computer slowing down more than usual, you might consider turning off the screensaver and restarting your computer. Then you can compare the speed with and without the screensaver. Finally, I want to mention corporate screensavers. These are screensavers which can be used in a corporate environment where messages and notifications can be pushed out to everyone. Often, this way of getting information out to employees is more effective than emails and text messages. That's it for this video. I hope we've given you some things to think about when it comes to using a screensaver. Feel free to let us know in the comments below whether you use one now or might try one in the future. Thanks and take care.